Hey guys, Taki and a cat. I want to talk about Dread Thicket Farming. Now, most of you are here thanks to yesterday's video. I've been doing this on and off while, you know, watching my streams and enjoying stuff. And I was in the middle of watching a really cool conversation with Maws and Niggy, and this happened. Now, I don't want to say I've created the D3 chest flip, but I think that I've created the D3 chest flip. Just watch what happens. So this is a recording you're watching. You're like, okay, well, you know, I've tried this myself a few times. You get a couple of coins. What's the big deal? I really wasn't expecting this. Now, the first thing that I want to point out, and my kind of my issue with Perendus League now, because I kind of have an issue with Perendus League, I've been farming um, Dread Thicket for probably in total maybe four hours. Um, between all of my testings, all different zones, I've probably only done four hours tops here. I don't use any bots, I don't multi-box, I don't really try hard that much. I'm one of those guys who just sort of like plays game at a pretty decent level and I like to be well informed. But I'm not very good, like someone could do this better than me. My character is only level 74, it hasn't stepped into maps. I'm approaching the currency to afford near best in slot. By that I mean like the uniques you need, the four links, the five links, the six links. I have two consuming darks, a Doriani's belt which does nothing because I have two consuming darks. Um, I've managed to pick up a belly of the beast three times this league through Kadiro. A... Um, a few other just like random trash tier uniques, a whispering ice, nothing that fancy. Now, I haven't obtained anything to GG, but if someone was to do this properly, someone was to do this better, someone was to like multi box this, I don't think this is good for the state of the game. I don't think this is balanced. And it seems like you can get like treasure goblin packs, I don't know. But in one run, we got two jewellery spawns, a cache, an archive, and I believe another chest just above here. Um, once I've finished picking up all of this loot. And another chest. Now, yes, yeah, so I don't know if you want to spam reset these zones or full clear these zones. You can see this is the scale. I end up exploring the rest of the map because I think maybe I'm in like the golden run. I thought maybe this is how you get... The horrendous manner or something. I'm not any closer to that, but I mean, okay. So you can see like this tab. This play session was 23 minutes, and 23 minutes I made 846 coins just using whirling blades with a tiny bit of attack speed, an actual attack speed build. Someone doing this better. Someone multi boxing. If someone was to like bot this, this is like the, this is my issue with this system. If someone managed to make a bot. And the bot, w I don't really know how bottings work, but I'm assuming someone could do this. If someone could make a bot which could scan for Headhunter, because that's the most GG, and you had like 30 characters just spamming this all day, every day, worst case you get a couple of thousand coins per character in like an hour. Extreme case, you've got like Headhunters, and when you can like force Headhunter spawns, I don't know. So... This is my findings. I will keep making these videos as I find more interesting things. Um, my stream will be linked down below if you want to check that out. I do that, you know, when I'm not making YouTube videos and stuff. And yeah, Taki, Cat, Perendus, the fuck?